Good evening, Robert Scribbler. It is October 15th, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now for this segment, I am going to talk about the jet stream and how we're seeing quite a lot of heat transfer into the Arctic during fall of 2018. And I'm also gonna to allude to some downstream, I'm sorry, to, to some weather patterns related to this energy transfer, namely a, a big outbreak of, of countervailing cold air flushed into Central North America as, result, as a result of some of the high amplitude jet stream, stream wave patterns that we're seeing over North America, which is a feature of this energy transfer that we are seeing in the Arctic. I just like to note that we are seeing three zones at present and we have tended to see these three zones in which warmer than normal air has been flooding through these zones into the Arctic. One zone through the Pacific Ocean region and over Alaska due to likely due to much warmer than normal sea surface temperatures off the North American coast and running in through the Chukchi and Bering Seas. A second ridge pattern that has been bowing up through Europe over recent days, which has been lending to energy transfer and heat transfer in through the Atlantic side of the Arctic. And a third ridge zone through central Siberia, which has also been helping to push warmer than normal temperatures into the Arctic. And this, this ridge pattern appears to be linking up with warmer than normal sea surface temperatures in the Laptev and East Siberian Sea regions. So, so three zones of warm air invasion coordinate with high amplitude ridge patterns in the jet stream. We also just like to point out where sea surface temperatures are much warmer than normal, and this is mainly in the Bering Sea, with Earth Null School showing a five degrees Celsius above normal temperature for Earth Null School and GFS-based climatology. Also, much warmer than normal sea surface temperatures now pervading over a large portion of the Northeast Pacific in a hot blob type scenario off the Pacific Northwestern region. Sea surface temperatures are also much warmer than normal running in through the Barents Sea uh, with a hot pool off Svalbard being a, a prominent feature, but warmer to much warmer than normal sea surface temperatures pervading in this region and also running in through the Laptev and Kara Seas as well. It's worth noting that these warmer than normal ocean zones also coincide with the, the ridges that we, we tend to see in the jet stream that's pumping quite a bit more heat into the Arctic. Now, it, looking at the 80 degree north latitude line running in through the pole, temperature anomalies represented by the red line here are running to near record, looks like near record temperatures for the 80 degree north latitude line and northward with temperature departures ranging about, looks like about nearly 10 degrees Celsius above average for this time of year overall for the 80, 80 degree north latitude line and above with a notable temperature spike ongoing for this region. This temperature spike is similar to the one that we saw in 2016, where we saw a lot of heat transfer into the Arctic. And, and it does appear that we're seeing that now as another indicator of this heat transfer is a, a very low level of freezing degree days for this time of year. Looks like the freezing degree day anomaly is approaching minus 250 freezing degree days. And, and, and just to contextualize this graph, the less freezing degree days there are in the Arctic, the closer the Arctic is to, to not freezing, to, to not thawing. It's, we are seeing, certainly seeing temperatures below freezing in the Arctic for much of the Arctic zone, but overall temperatures are much warmer than average and we see less of the Arctic below freezing than we typically would. 
we'll have to take keep an eye on this freezing degree day line right now it is tracking along the 2016 line which was a, a record year for for warmth in the arctic in fall and winter time and right now we're tracking along that record range we'll just have to keep an eye on it and see if we continue along that the 2016 line if we do it's it's an indication an indicator that the arctic is going to take another heat hit this winter it does appear that for fall of 2016 2018 at least we are really seeing some serious heat in the arctic with temperatures right now for the entire arctic zone above the 66 degree north latitude line ranging about 4.6 degrees celsius above normal that's very warm for the Arctic. Over the coming days, it looks like temperatures are expected to remain in the four degrees Celsius above average range, dipping maybe in the upper threes before running back into the four degrees Celsius range, except for in the latter portion of the forecast where temperatures dip back down into the upper three degrees Celsius range, but still much, much warmer than average temperatures predicted over the next 10 days for the Arctic zone. Just like to point out that as heat runs into the Arctic, it does tend to flush cooler air into the Southern re region through the trough zones and, and particularly into the middle latitudes. And we see this in particular over Central North America today and in and, and GFS model, this, this, this flush of cooler air Cooler than normal air is, is expected to continue through Central North America and through the Central United States in particular over the, the next couple of days. And this is, this is a pattern that we've tended to see as warm air invades the Arctic, the cool air tends to get flushed out, the Arctic air tends to get flushed out into the trough zones. And we're seeing this in particular through Central North America, but also somewhat through Central Asia as well. For those of you who are seeing cooler air in the central U.S., I'd just like to note that the reason why you're seeing this cooler air is because the Arctic is really heating up. And it's not because climate change stopped just because it got cold where you are. In fact, the world is much warmer than normal. And we just saw the hottest September on record. I'm sorry, the sixth hottest September on record for the global measure. So what you're seeing is a displacement of cold air from the Arctic driven out by a warm air invasion. So uh, just an overall discussion of a lot of warm air heading into the Arctic during fall of 2018 and in association with these high amplitude jet stream waves that we're seeing over North America and in through Europe and through parts of central Siberia, as well as in association with very warm ocean zones, in particular through the Pacific Ocean, through the Northeast Pacific, and in through the Bering Sea. So much warmer than normal temperatures in the Arctic, as well as some cold air getting flushed out, particularly in through Central North America. Thank you for joining me, and I'll be chatting with you soon.